it's, it broke pretty quickly once the pictures were out there. Right, it broke in, in about 12 hours, yeah. uh, essentially. So what, what right now, from what you know, from what, you, what you've experienced, is happening as the police go door to door? Uh, it's a very dangerous tactical situation in the entire area of Boston, and that's why the mayor and the, the governor have asked everyone to stay indoors. Uh, uh, police officers in America are trained to shoot to kill, and they are in a situation of about as high a state of alert as they can possibly get. Two of their, uh, their comrades have already been shot, one lethal, uh, fatally. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they are prepared for someone to come at them armed and trying to kill them as well and possibly take hostages or kill other innocent civilians. So they uh, will be quick to use lethal force. And one of the things they're terrified of is that they will get the wrong person right. and they will kill an innocent civilian or innocent civilians will be killed uh, in the surrounding conflict. And so that's why they're asking everyone to stay indoors. Is it surprising to you the suspects were still in the area? Uh, a little bit, but uh, we're going to learn a lot about what they were up to and how they got here, how they were supported. Um, you know, if, the, if it had been part of an international terrorist conspiracy, you would have thought they'd be removed from the country. Correct, But yeah. um, they may have been plotting subsequent attacks. All that will come out. Uh, they presumably have the apartment or wherever they were living. If they've identified one, they can figure out where he was living. They will be investigating that, processing it for evidence of other bomb-making material, other weapons, to try to figure out what they have. Uh, there was an explosive used last night, reportedly, uh, in it the sounded aftermath. like it was another pressure cooker bomb, perhaps? Something like that. Yes. Uh, the details haven't come out yet. But what it's, what it's all of which says is that these two individuals were planning um, a multiple series of engagements, at least two, maybe more. Uh, and that's what the police have to contend with, is someone who is, is absolutely determined to cause death and mayhem on a large scale and is willing to go down uh, and fighting. die. Yeah, fighting. Uh, here in New York and in other cities close to Boston, what would the police be doing here? Well, it's a similar, uh, in principle, it's different. It's, uh, it's the same, but it's different because New York is so built up. And sure. so with large apartment buildings and with, a, frankly, a much larger subway system, which is harder to shut down, uh, it's even more difficult than it would be in Watertown. I mean, Watertown is densely populated, but nothing like the apartment blocks in Manhattan.